Hi everyone. In the previous video, we had solved homogeneous differential equations of first order and first degree. We had used a particular method for solving them. Many a times we come across certain differential equations where the same method cannot be used. So that gives rise to some special cases. Let us see what are those special cases and how we solve them. Case 1, where the differential equation is of the form dy by dx is equal to f ax plus by plus c upon dx plus ey plus f. Now, here we can have two subcases. First, where a into e is not equal to b in, into d. In other words, the determinant ae minus bd is not zero. It's non-zero. The second subcase where a into e minus b into d is zero, or we can say that ae is equal to bd. In the second case, we will study differential equations which again are a quotient of two polynomials of the same degree. For such differential equations, we use the substitution z is equal to y by x to the power n. Let's first come to the differential equations of the type dy by dx is equal to f of ax plus by plus c upon dx plus ey plus f. We've already seen there are two cases. First, where a is not equal to bd. For such differential equations, we take a substitution x is equal to z minus h and y is equal to w minus k. What we do next is, we find the values of h and k, substitute them in the differential equation and that reduces the differential equation to homogeneous differential equation. The second case which we had done was where AE is equal to BD. Here we take a substitution in such a way that the differential equation can be easily solved using the method of variable separable. But before we come to solving the questions, let's note something. We have taken the substitution x is z minus h and y is w minus k. Let's differentiate z with respect to x. We will get z dz by dx is equal to 1. And let's differentiate w with respect to y. We will get dy dw by dy is equal to 1. Now, let's see what is dw by dz. dw by dz can always be written as dw by dy, dy by dx, dx by dz. We already know that dw by dy is 1 and so is dx by dz. So, dw by dz becomes equal to dy by dx. This is something which we will be frequently using for our examples. Let's come to the first case where AE is not equal to BD. Here in example 1, we are asked to solve dy by dx is equal to x plus y plus 4 upon x minus y minus 6. You can see that here the coefficients of the numerator are a is 1, b is 1, c is 4, d is 1, e is minus 1 and f is minus 6. A into E is minus 1 and B into D is 1. You can see they are not equal. So we take X is Z minus H and we take Y is W minus K. Now substitute these values of X and Y in your right hand side of the differential equation and replace dy by dx by dw by dz. So we will get dw by dz is equal to Z minus h plus w minus k plus 4 upon z minus h minus w plus k minus 6. Keep all the z and w terms together and h, k and the constant terms on the right hand side. What if we are able to reduce minus h minus k plus 4 is equal to 0? 
and minus h plus k minus 6 is equal to 0. In that case, we will have a differential equation dw by dz is equal to z plus w upon z minus w. Then we can easily solve it using our method of homogeneous differential equations. So, let's see how we can make them 0. So, take minus h minus k plus 4 is equal to 0 and minus h plus k minus 6 is equal to 0. Solve both these equations. You can use the method of simultaneous equations. We will get h is minus 1 and k is 5. Now, substituting this value gives us dw by dz is equal to z plus w upon z minus w. Divide the right hand side by z, we will get dw by dz is 1 upon w by z divided by 1 minus w by z. It's a homogeneous differential equation. We can safely take w by z is equal to u or in other words w is equal to z u. Differentiate w with respect to z which gives us dw by dz is u plus z du by dz. Now if we replace dw by dz by this term and right hand side uh, we get 1 plus u upon 1 minus u. Take the u on the right hand side we will get z du by dz is equal to 1 plus u upon 1 minus u minus u. Simplify keep all the u terms on the left and z terms on the right. Split the left hand side into two parts 1 upon 1 plus u square and minus u upon 1 plus u square and then integrate both the sides. We will get the integral value as tan inverse u minus half log of 1 plus u square is equal to log z plus c. Now put back the value of u which was w by z. We also had taken x is z minus h. Our h value came out to be minus 1. If we go back we will see h was minus 1 and k was 5. So, we put h as minus 1 and we put k is equal to 5. That gives us z is equal to x minus 1 and w is equal to y plus 5. So, if you substitute first u and then the values of w and z, the solution comes out to be tan inverse y plus 5 upon x minus 1 minus half log of x square plus y square minus 2x minus 10y plus 26 is equal to log z plus c. Let's take another example. For the case where AE is not equal to BD because these are the questions which need a lot of practice. So, for the second example, we have dy by dx is 2x plus y plus 1 upon x minus y plus 2. Again, you see that a into e is minus 2 and b into d is 1. They are not equal. So, we can take x is z minus h and y is w minus k. Substitute in your differential equation on the right hand side. dy by dx we will take as dw by dz. Again, Reduce minus 2h plus k plus 1 to 0 and minus h plus k plus 2 to be 0. Let's take them to be 0 and solve. This will give us h is 1 and k is minus 1. So, our differential equation had become dw by dz is equal to 2z plus w upon z minus w after substituting the h and k values. Divide the right hand side by z. We are left with 2 plus w by z upon 1 minus w by z. Now, this is a homogeneous differential equation. You can easily take w upon z is equal to u. Then, dw by dz becomes u plus z du by dz. Replace dw by dz by this term on the left and right hand side is 2 plus u upon 1 minus u. Take the u on the other side. Collect all the u terms on the left, z terms on the right and then split. So, we had 1 minus u upon 2 plus u square which we will write as 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon 2 plus u square 1 upon 2 plus u square minus u upon 2 plus u square for the left hand side. Right hand side remains dz by z. 
differentiate uh, sorry integrate both the sides we will get half tan inverse u by root 2 minus half log of 2 plus u square is equal to log z plus c. Don't forget to put u as w by z and x is equal to z minus h. h value was 1 so we get x plus 1 is equal to z. k value was minus 1 so we get y is equal to w plus 1 and that will give us w is y minus 1. So we'll substitute and the solution comes out to be half tan inverse y minus 1 upon x plus 1 root 2 minus half log of 2 plus y minus 1 whole square upon x plus 1 whole square is equal to log z plus c. Coming to the case 1 sub case 2 where a e is equal to b d. Now here we are given a differential equation dy by dx is equal to x plus y plus 4 upon x plus y minus 6. We can see a into e is 1 and so is b into d. Both of them are 1 and they are same. When does such a case happen? It happens when we have the same linear combination of x and y in the numerator and denominator. And we can easily take it to be some variable z. So here we have x plus y both in numerator and denominator. Let's take it to be z. Differentiate both the sides with respect to x. We'll get 1 plus dy by dx is equal to dz by dx. Take the uh, 1 on the other side. We get dy by dx is dz by dx minus 1. We replace dy by dx by this. And here we have taken z plus 4 upon z minus 6. You can separate the z variables on the left and x on the right. We get z minus 6 upon z minus 1. And on the right we get 2dx. Minus 6 we have split as minus 1 minus 5 just because we had a z minus 1 in the denominator. So we can easily divide both the terms. By z minus 1, we will get 1 minus 5 upon z minus 1 dz is equal to 2 dx. Integrate both the sides. We will get z minus 5 log of z minus 1 is equal to 2x. Replace z by x plus y. The solution becomes x plus y minus 5 log of x plus y minus 1 is equal to 2x. In the last problem, we will deal with our case 2 where we have polynomials of the same degree in the numerator and denominator. So he, for example, for we have differential equation dy by dx is equal to 1 minus x y square upon 2x square y. We will take the substitution z is equal to y upon x to the power n. Or in other words, y is equal to z into x to the power n. Now differentiate y with respect to x. We will get dy by dx is equal to x to the power n into dz by dx plus differential of x to the power n which is n x to the power n minus 1 into z as it is. Replace dy by dx by this term in your differential equation and in the right on the right hand side replace y by z into x to the power n. On simplifying, you will see we will get dz by dx is 1 minus z square x to the power 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 2x to the power 2n plus 2 into z. You can always divide by x to the power 2n plus 1, both the numerator and denominator. That gives us x to the power minus 2n plus 1 minus z square 2n plus 1 upon 2xz. For this example, if we can reduce our numerator to some constant or a variable such that my differential equation can be reduced to variable separable, then our purpose will be solved. Here you can see in this example, if I take n to be minus half, 
then this term becomes 0, 2n plus 1. We are left with x to the power 0, which is 1. Minus z square into 0, so this term is gone. What we get on the right hand side is 1 upon 2xz on taking n is equal to minus half. And the left hand side is dz by dx. You can use the method of variable separable. Using that method and on integration we get z square upon 2 is half log of x plus a constant of integration c dash multiply by 2 all over. You will get z square is equal to log x plus c. Substitute the value of z, which was y by x to the power n, and for our case n was minus half. A solution becomes y square is equal to x to the power 2n log x plus c. Thank you for watching. In our next video, we will solve exact differences.